Okay, I'm testing DJI Go Follow Me using the Nexus 7 tablets out in the local field. So I'm going to switch over to F mode, tap on the screen, and I'm going to choose Follow Me. It says I've got a good strong GPS, so we're going to run apply that. Keep my finger on the F trigger. Click on hide. Now it seems to be having a bit of a an all over the place skittish sort of movement. I'll just point the camera towards the quad so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to start recording. Okay, recording. I'm going to set little man on the screen. And now it should now follow me when I move around. Well, so far, it just seems. Oh, there we go. It's doing something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's keeping me within frame. Let's just walk towards it a little bit. Keeping my finger obviously on the PAF switch because I don't want any issues with it. Yeah, it seems to be moving backwards. It's uh, follow me. Seems to be. All right, it's going to go for a wander over the other side of the field. Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see the screen recording and uh, you'll also be able to see the camera recording as well. It doesn't seem to be as good as Litch's trap mode, I must admit, but seems to be working fine. So far, so good. Let me just tilt the camera down manually, or does it also focus? Not tilting the camera down. Yeah, it's, it's following. Now I'm going to just stop for a second. I'm going to see if I can bring it down in altitude a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can bring it closer to me. Okay, it's coming in closer towards me. It's a gentle bit of stick just to bring it in. I've seen what happens if you get too close with the litchy version where it's... Uh, Almost took the head off uh, Jason Big J Leak, which we don't want to uh, we don't want to have happen. Just going to bring it in. Okay, so let's have a wander over this side. Let's see how it performs. Can't quite tell if it's turning. Well, so far now I'm stood just to the right of the Phantom as you're looking or to the left of the, the image um, and it doesn't seem to have any uh, any movement whatsoever uh, it's going to wander back round again it's going to manually rotate the quad towards me as you can see there I am so I'm now going to walk off the side of the screen and see what it does you can see now I've disappeared off the screen and the quad doesn't seem to want to do anything now, I mean, it does rely on the signal strength of your GPS and how well it does, but for me, I mean, it said it had good signal, so it should work fine. But for some reason, it just seems to have sat there. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll just stop, follow me, and I'll start again. Take out of F mode, put it back into F mode, tap on the screen, choose follow me. Once again, it says mobile device GPS signal is strong. Altitude 28 and a half feet. I'm going to apply. Oh, I've got to go a little bit higher to start with, so that's, that might be why. Set the camera up a little bit. Okay, applying that. In follow me mode, the aircraft movements, there you go, it's rotated around again. So hide, tap on the follow key and hide. Let me see now. I'm going to walk towards the quad. I'm going to hide that so you can see what's going on. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see me. There I am in this shot again. And uh, yeah, the quad is. I think once you go below a certain height, I think the follow mode just doesn't work. I think you have to be at least. I'm at the moment at 47, 47 meters, about 100 feet or so. Uh, and yeah, it, it seems to be. Let me just rotate around a little bit, watching the screen. You can see that I'm in the top right of the frame. 
the quad's doing all sorts of movements and stuff. To get a shot of the quad, you can see it sort of seems to be moving around. Let me just go around to the side of it, see whether it rotates around. As you can see now, I'm not in frame now. It doesn't have any kind of idea where I am. I'm not on the screen, so it's not really following as such. And I'm back in frame again. So yeah, it's, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. Uh, I think I'll stick with uh, with Lich's trap mode. Okay, going to end this uh, this video now. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon.